if you chat with the channel, you know we're always on the lookout for games that offer something a bit different. So we're excited today to be working with Skybound Games on this video for their game Rainbow Billy. Now as you can see it has kind of this retro cartoon aesthetic that reminded us a bit of Cuphead but the game itself is really unique and really different just as much as that platform game but in very different ways. Here it's like an action adventure and you can see the big bad boss has taken over the rainbow aesthetics of the world and made it all black and white and you have to progress through this world making friends and building a team to take on and help the characters in the world come to terms with what's happened and find a way forward and as you can tell the way i'm explaining this is a little bit different from other action adventure role play games because when you encounter the kind of enemies in quotes you discover actually these are just other people in the world that have their own fears anxieties issues to deal with sometimes they're angry sometimes they don't like the way they look there's loads of identity stuff going on and rather than fight them with kind of weapons you have to have conversations with them and use the characters in your deck of coins to unlock different aspects of their personality which shows you which shapes and colors they need to come to a sense of wholeness of who they are you then proceed through this battle a lot like paper mario um, but it's that conversation back and forth and what works here is that the dialogue in each of these encounters is really genuine. There's a real sense of depth to each of their qualms and, and each of their kind of backstories that have resulted in them having a particular personality. And as you carry on, you slowly build up this team and help them come to terms with their past or their future or their hopes and dreams. And you learn about, you know, what, what do they want from life, what's gone wrong and how to fix it. And that runs through this adventure game. So as you proceed, this stuff is happening in the background. It doesn't feel overly pushy or overly worthy, but just kind of sits there as you progress through the world, filling it with colour, helping your friends come to terms with who they are and restoring peace and joy to this very kind of light, cartoony setting. So that gives you a taste of kind of how the mechanics work and how the game sort of sets out. But what it doesn't tell you is just how massive this game is. There's loads of different areas to explore through three different sort of primary worlds with some side quests as well. You can you collect characters from each world into your book and each character you then upgrade and develop what personality quirks they can use, what shapes and colors they can use. And along with that, this unlocks their backstory and you find in a detailed way, what was it about their childhood? What was it about their upbringing? What was it about their life experience? That has got them to the point they are today so that really fleshes out the kind of the combat system with a genuine narrative that goes through each of these characters and many of them interweave with each other so you discover this kind of friendships um, love interest rivalries siblings protecting each other parents and children there's just loads of different aspects of everyday life that you can come across here and as you can see, that's wrapped up in this 3D platforming kind of overworld adventure that ties together all these experiences and is the world in which you explore. This reminds us of games like Paper Mario, a bit like Mario Odyssey or Hat in Time, um, but also has some mini games wo woven into. There's a fishing game where you're collecting items that will be useful for you. You're also trying to find these little thought characters that are hidden around the world in secret places. You can hear them in the sound, so that helps you track them down. And if you collect them, that unlocks new upgrades for your battles and you do that in your boat. And you move from island to island, finding more characters to help. And as you do, you return color and this rainbow to each of those spaces. And that means that you can then travel further because you've got more fuel for your boat. So it's a lovely little package that brings together lots of different elements of other games, but stands out for the unique focus on interesting characters with deep backstories that aren't too heavy but do go into real territory around identity and meaning and the fears we have about growing up and heading out into the world so we've really enjoyed playing this with our kids and the other families we've worked with have had a really good time and would recommend checking out rainbow billy if this is the sort of thing you'd like to engage with